Remote Desktop is a Windows 10 built-in tool that allows an administrator to take control of a remote computer. Usually, it's used to administer servers. But in some cases, you can use it to connect to remote computers to install an application, for example. The Remote Desktop connection is available on Windows 10 Professional Edition and Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. It's not available on the Windows 10 Home Edition. The Remote Desktop connection allows only one session at a time. The user logged in will be logged out when you open a Remote Desktop session. The Remote Desktop connection doesn't allow interactive activities. The remote user can't see what the IT support technician is doing on his computer. To be able to connect to the remote computer, you need to enable the remote desktop on the Windows parameters of the remote computer. To launch a remote desktop connection, click on the Start menu, then type Remote. Click on the Remote Desktop Connection app. In the Computer field, you need to type the remote computer name or its IP address. Now it's trying to connect. It usually connects instantaneously. I get a pop-up window with an error message that says that the remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer, and it gives me three possible reasons. The first possible reason is that remote access is not enabled on the remote computer. The second reason is that the remote computer is maybe turned off. The third reason is that the remote computer is perhaps not available on the network. So, to troubleshoot that, you need to check for these three points. In our case, I know that I didn't enable the remote access on the remote computer, so I'm going to enable that. On the remote computer, I'm going to open the Windows settings and enable the remote connection. Click on System, scroll down and click on Remote Desktop. You should toggle this button to enable Remote Desktop. I click Confirm. Now that it is enabled, let's try the remote connection again. Yes, this time I'm invited to enter my login. I type the username and the password. I get a certificate warning. This is normal, just click Yes. And here it is. I'm now connected to the remote computer. To terminate the remote connection, you can click on this cross button to close the connection. Or you can sign out by clicking on the Start menu, then on the User, and then click Sign Out to completely close your session.